with Seattle's Morning News. Colleen O'Brien with you and David, our producer, joining us, too, because I have this, I've been looking forward to this all week. We've got a couple of guests in the studio. The Olympics coverage for me, David, has been all about women's rugby. It, it captured my, it's not something I watched ahead of time. Rugby is something I was aware of. And then watching Team USA get that first medal, uh, bronze, and just the physicality of the game fascinates me. So we have a local team called the Emerald City Mud Hens. It's a team of women and non-binary players dedicated to empowering the community and also kicking some butt. So joining us now in the studio, the captain of the Mud Hens, known as Scrappy, it's Kayla Mazurkowitz and Katie Daly, the Mud Hens social media coordinator. Good morning. Good morning, Good Colleen. Morning. Thank you so much for having us. Oh, yeah. It's so exciting. You're going to teach me all about this, I hope. <laughs> and and uh, please explain how you're able to slam into each other with such force with no pads and not break your bones. So we're, I'm going to ask you that. But first, what are your thoughts on how the Olympics have played out for women's rugby? Well, honestly, like just seeing the woman being so physical and having that bronze medal, it's just so exciting to watch. And honestly, it's so empowering to see other people follow it and actually be like interested in women's rugby because that wasn't the case for a while. Just to see it for me personally, I have been really excited and just been following it and like seeing this, them win the bronze medal is just honestly amazing in you, my eyes. You mentioned the physicality and, and women being physical on the field. Why is that important? That's important because some women don't think they have the strength or the confidence and seeing them be so physical can give other people the confidence to do that as well. For me personally, I'm a smaller player and seeing people be so physical makes me feel like I can do that too. And it's like, yes, we can do it. I get that feeling too. Looking at me, you think I could play rugby? Oh yeah. And if <laughs> rugby is for everybody. <laughs> the thing is with rugby, all body types are supported and it's so inclusive that there is a position for everyone on the field. And uh, Katie, how did you get involved? You're the social media manager. Do you play as well? Yes, I okay. do. Um, and I'm actually the, the team's president. Um, but yeah, no, I actually joined the team. I found them on social media like three years ago. A lot of people join, they like play in college, like Scrappy here. Um, but I just like found them and came out and I had never played before. Um, and this is my fourth season and I'm really excited to be continuing. But I also had just never really heard of rugby for women. Like I didn't know that there were adult women's teams in the area that I could just join. Um, and so it's really cool. I mean, we have people from like 19 to in their early 40s really? playing on our team together. Um, yeah, it's just a really exciting, um, really inclusive community. That's what I get from a lot of the, the studying up I've been doing on rugby, watching the U.S. women's team and, and learning about the Emerald City Munhens is the inclusivity. That's a big part of the sport is, and I and I don't know if this is true for locally, but uh, at least over the pond, dressing up in, in crazy costumes for the games. It, it, tell me about that, the atmosphere of a rugby game. Yeah, so, I mean, we love to, especially in our Panarfu League, so we're a Division two competitive league, um, and we love to play, have a competitive game, and then we have socials after every game where there's a costume theme and <laughs> drinking games, and it's just like very fun. Um, it's a fun thing to get to participate in as an adult, um, to be dedicated and committed to a sport, but then have sort of this really fun social community that is also a big priority for our team. I think to like follow that up, it's it's fun because you you're really so physical in the game. You you're hitting other people, and you know there's the game. You're in the game, but then afterwards you can just hang out, chat, and like it's such a friendly community. And that's why our community has grown. It's just you can go out, hit people, and then afterwards you have a great time. <laughs> and people that sounds right up my alley. Yeah, isn't <laughs> would anyone want to do that? Like yeah. it's so fun. I mean, I do that in interview form, but uh, to do that on the field would be really nice. I. I am a uh, a massive sports fan, and I'll kind of put myself on blast that so much of the sports that I have been um, sort of uh, tuned into throughout my life have been men's sports. I think part of that is just that's what's broadcast on a lot of the TVs. Uh, one of the big ones, obviously, is is American football, men's American football, and there are so many injury concerns throughout um, the last decade, especially about CTE, traumatic brain injuries, um, tackling styles, not to get too much into the X's and O's, but what what is it about a, a sport in which you are physically tackling and taking down people without any pads on that you're able to 
maybe mitigate? What is it in the tackling style that allows you to mitigate serious injuries? Yeah, so with rugby, it's definitely without pads. Like you said, it's a little bit more, you know, without that padding coverage. But our coaching style and how we've learned to play is really safe. And everyone going into rugby is safe doing it. Like they come into it 100%, but how we train to tackle is always doing it safely. And there's safely safe techniques that we practice. So everyone on the field, when they enter the pitch, their main job is not to injure somebody, it's to tackle safely. And we know how to fall safely. We know how to go down to ground safely. We practice those really well because again, new players, they're kind of nervous about you know getting hit or going to ground. They don't know how to really do that. But our coaching staff and people that know a lot about rugby, we make sure that we can actually practice that well. And everyone knows that going into practices and games. But when you see a player like, say, Alona Mar on oh, the U.S. Yeah. women's team, oh, yeah. I would not want to be in her path. Oh, me either. Trust me. Yeah, no, no thank way. you. <laughs> uh, how, how, I don't see any bruises on you guys whatsoever. How, how do you, I mean, yeah, you're, you're speaking to this, we see professional men's football and they're wearing pads and all this technology to keep them safe. Is it just how it's played differently than maybe rugby? Because I think a lot of people like to compare American football to rugby. Can you? Um, I mean, and I think the general, like, what draws people to the sport, there's a lot of overlap, but something that's really cool about the fact that we don't play with pads is that it makes the sport more technical. Mm. Um, so the way that we tackle is way more regulated. Um, like, if you tackle too high, you're going to get called by the ref. Um, there's certain ways you can take people to ground. There's certain ways you have to roll away from those tackles. Um, and I think that makes the sport a lot more interesting. Um, it's just there's so many rules in rugby. We always tell new people, like, no matter how long you're playing, you're always learning the rules of rugby. I tried to watch a <laughs> rugby 101 for sevens, and I, you can see my notes here. I got lost after the points, like how to score the points. <laughs> yeah. All the offsides and all of that. that but, it's, but the bottom line is it's fun to watch, too. Yeah. Fast pace, high scoring, and even if you don't understand it, it's a blast to watch. It's so fun. I mean, we tell all our new people, and this is how I learned, that you just have to play to learn mm -hmm. the sport um, and we play 15 so we have twice the amount of people on the field and it's still we're moving quickly and just there's so many things happening and so many voices and once you kind of get into that rhythm and I think it makes the sport really fun to watch mm -hmm. um, and then yeah just also really fun to play so how can people watch you I understand your season maybe just got underway do you have any games coming up for people to see yeah so our season is just starting um, we're confirming our schedule now we have a couple new teams that have been rebuilding in the area that will be entering the league so that's really exciting um, but our if you follow us on social media. We'll have our game schedules posted. We usually play at Magnuson Field, um, and that's where our practices are. So we have some rookie practices coming up, and yeah, we're just sort of getting our fall season rolling. I imagine you have room for other people to join. Oh yeah, we're this team. When I first joined two years ago, I came to a practice, and you know there was a lot of people, but now like it has grown to such a big community, and I definitely think with the Olympics going on mm -hmm. and just like younger generations watching it, like it, they're gonna be like. I want to get into rugby and our team we are very inclusive we accept everybody and we want even if it's not our team if it's somewhere else and you know in seattle please definitely join and check it out like rugby is such an empowering thing and it really changed my life for the better like all my friends have been through rugby and i don't know where i would be without rugby so really yeah do so. you want to expand on that is it just having that community and and having friendships through rugby yeah rugby is just a different type of sport you know I, as you said it's really empowering for especially being a woman it's it's really good to just get up and hit people and then just make that community but I joined in college and I met some of my best friends through there and then I played a team in Colorado and I still have friends to this day that I hang out with and talk to like every single day that have been through that team and especially moving from Colorado to Seattle I didn't know anybody I moved here by myself and now I have some of the best friends in the world due to this team mm. so it follows you and people if people looking for that connection and that friendship like that's where you go and you, you have a sport it's really empowering and connected so I think for me, that's like the best part of rugby is just the friends and you get to hang out with your friends at practice yeah. and have fun at games and 
It's a great time. And you get to hit people. You keep mentioning and that. And you get to Sounds hit awesome. people. Like, I get mad. And I mean, otherwise, I'm a scrappy. I want to hit people. So um, <laughs> that's how you got your nickname, huh? Well, yeah. I think you're speaking to a lot of people who are deprived of adult friendships and, and want to find a way in. So if you're interested in hitting people and having a good time, Emerald City Mud Hens, our uh, women's and non-binary women's rugby team that uh, we just heard from Kayla Mazurkowitz, a.k.a. Scrappy. Keep hitting. And uh, Katie Daly. Thank you so much for joining us and, and talking about this great sport.